Hey people, Zarth Thwomp here, and welcome to the first episode of my new Let's Play, Lost Wins, a game that is very, very, very under the radar. Frankly, I would have never found this game if I had not gone on the Wii Shop channel one day and stumbled across this in the Wii Play section. Basically, I saw this game, I thought it looked pretty cool, so I decided to give it a shot because basically, I... It was for a good, it was for a decent price, and I thought, hey, why not? So I downloaded it, I tried it out, and basically, and I grew to like the series, basically. The Lost Wind games. So, anyways, as you can tell from the start menu, we can control the wind, basically. You move the mouse cursor, in the PC version, you can move the mouse cursor around, and you can basically create wind. Heck, you can even blow wind on our main protagonist, Toku, who basically, he's just chilling out. He's just in that zone when it comes to sleeping. He's like me when I'm on the floor of my bedroom sometimes. Yes, I sometimes fall asleep on the floor of my bedroom because I just want to because I just want to really stretch out, you know, just really stretch out and just really sprawl out. Though granted for me just I tend to lay on my left side rather than my right. But anyways, let's get started. Now, basically, as you can tell, I have played this game before. This is my practice file right here. I was basically doing some playthroughs earlier earlier base I was doing a playthrough earlier just to get myself reacquainted with the game as well as to basically get settings graphically wise up and running. I noticed that when I was recording at 60 FPS for my OBS there was some some choppiness to it. Hopefully I managed to fix the problem. But anyways, for the time being, let's start with a new game. Toku just does not want to get up. So we just got we got blow wind in his face. Blow wind right in his face. Toku's just pissed off. He's like, what the heck? Who woke me up? Use the A and D or the left and right arrows to move Toku around. As you can tell, this game is a 2D, is a 2.5D platformer in which basically we cannot move up, we cannot move down. We can only move left and right. It's like the Klonoa series, though we can't do anything with our wind powers just yet. All we can do is just rustle some leaves around. Toku will automatically grab legends if he can reach them, which is pretty handy. Considering that you are going to be needing to double task a lot and multitask a lot in this game. And, and by a lot, I don't mean you're doing a thousand things at once. Just more or less, you're going to be moving things around. And you're also going to have to move Toku around at the same time. Anyway, step on this bridge. And, of course, it collapses. And Toku lives. And he falls into a cave. Okay, jump down here. And you will stumble across this stone. Let's pick it up, shall we? At last, you have found me! About time, you lazy ass! I was calling out to you for five whole minutes and just, oh, oh, I'm gonna sleep here, I'm gonna sleep here. Please don't be afraid, young one. My name is Enriel, the Wind Spirit. I've been trying to get your attention for some time. Didn't you notice when I tried to wake you up? Well, never mind that, little one. There's not much time and I have much to tell you. You probably are wondering how a spirit like me ended up like this. Well, let me tell you how things came to be. Many years ago, the ancients called upon our spirits to create this island, Mistralis. It's on a giant geyser. It's a damn nice island. That's why we're zooming in. We're doing this dramatic shot on it. We have prepared for this day. A spirit named Balazar abused his power and sought to rule Mistralis itself as a god. He wanted to impose his will that Coraline is the best 2D is the best animated movie of all time. Even though we are clearly a Wally Island. For this treachery, we forged the spirit stone to remind him of the superiority of Wally. Its sole purpose was to seal Balazar within forever so he could do no harm as he posed as the Among as the Among Us crew member. Seriously, this guy, Balasar looks like the Among Us crew member. Look at this. It basically looks like, yeah, Balasar, his greatest act of evil. He created sauce. Balasar thought by Gantas and the power of the spirit zone. For a time, it seemed as though it would not be enough to trap him. He was too sus for us. Using the last of my power, I summoned a furious tornado to entrap Balasar. This was enough to weaken him, allowing the spirit zone to take hold. However, in doing so, I too, so I too was dragged into the spirit zone with him. Over the centuries, Balasar's anger twisted into something far more terrifying. He became a Roblox server incarnate. I tried to calm his rage, but still, Balasar's power grew until he was finally able to weaken the stone with his weird vine tongue. 
With his, with his new power, Balazar finally managed to shatter the stone. This unleashed an immense power that scattered both the stone and the spirit of Balazar across Mistralis. Unfortunately, Iron Man trapped within the fragments of the stone while Balazar was set free. So I can feel Balazar's power growing all around. I fear it is only a matter of time before he once again emerges. This is, there is a great amount of work to be done if I had to stop Balasar. My powers are weak at the moment, but by working together, we can still achieve great things. Well, I guess I should find it. We should find a way out of this cave. Congratulations, you now have the power of Gust. Draw a short line straight through Toku to gust him into the air. This also works on objects. Basically, you can now jump. Granted, for the time being, we're, our jump is very weak. We can't reach very high heights. I mean, look, this is all we can reach at the time for the time being. We can't get up there. All we can do is move forward. Though, frankly, when it comes to this game, jumping is is very fun, and it, and it's actually much it is much more effective than walking at times. Because just, you can easily just blow Toku along, just get him moving, just brush into the side. Anyways, this is a fruit. Eat it, and you can restore health. Likewise, just collect a bunch of those little blue bugs that we saw, and you can also get health. Basically, as you can see, we can blow this fruit around. Just remember this for later. Yeah, we can just send the fruit flying. Very nice. Remember, fruits they have collision. This is this can this will work very well in our favor later on. Anyways, we can't do any. We have to go all the way over here now. We just gotta jump there. If we try to go over there, we can't really do much. So all we can really hope to do is just head over to this area. Now anyways, when it comes to this game, I really do love the, the, the visuals. And I do love the music that plays. It, it's very charming, basically. It's very calming. It, it is the kind of music that you could just fall asleep to. Though I would say that one of the game's biggest flaws is that there isn't much variety when it comes to the environments or when it comes to the music. I mean, this song that we're hearing, this song is pretty much one of the only songs. This is going to be pretty much the standard song you're going to be hearing throughout the game. So get used to it. As for the visuals, get used to caves and grassy fields because that's all you're getting in this game. Anyways, let's go over to this flower. Whilst, in a po in a whilst inside a polyak, try gusting it to spit Toku into the air. Basically, this is like a cannon. Just launch yourself, and you can just get reach new heights with it. Poyaks are going to have their own is, are going to have a variety of puzzles with them. So basically, just keep an eye out for them and learn to take advantage of their many good qualities. Okay, now we are going to want to head over here and basically go to the far left. Anyways, over there, there, right there, that is a totem. These are the collectibles of this game. Every room in the game has a totem. All 24 of them. That's right, there are only 24 key rooms in this game. This is a very small game. Though, while it's a small game, it's also a very fun game. I mean, I played this game on the Wii, I played this game on iOS, and I am playing it here. So basically, I played it on three different platforms. And I have to say, on all three, they play. it plays pretty much the same, and it plays very well. I would have to say that basically, the PC version is is arguably my personal favorite when it cut out of the three just because you get this level this degree of control with your mouse with the wii controller yeah it gives you some control but basically it doesn't feel as good as a mouse look at this place i wonder who built it it appears to be some kind of shrine let's go around let's look around maybe we can find some answers okay and find answers we shall basically go down here and this little thing comes up Whoa! it and we get a power. Congratulations, Enriel's power is now increased. You can now use to you can now move Toku and objects higher and further than before. Essentially, we now have a double jump. Yeah, basically, just do this, and we can just send Toku up way higher than we once were. Let's grab our first of 24 totems in this room. Very nice, very lovely. So, let's get move on. We get, yeah, basically, getting the totems in this game can actually be a pretty fast process. I mean, heck, we already have two of the totems, pretty much, because the other totem is right over here. So, let's grab this totem. 
Yeah, we can't go. Yeah, we can't head back up the way we the way we came. Yeah, the, the game pretty much forces you to collect that one totem. It's like, hey, see that totem there? Collect it. You're not escaping the totem. Okay. Anyways, as you can see, there's the flower that we saw before. We don't need to worry about that flower anymore. Be careful, Toku. Those look like glorbs to me. Glorbs, aka the standard enemies in the game. They come from the decay of Balasar. They can't be good. Whatever you do, don't let them stick to you. They will cause damage. Yeah, they'll cause damage. Though, frankly, the damaging in this game is very... The, the way you take damage in this game, even though you only have four hearts of health, damage is very generous. You can easily go through this game without taking a single hit. Look at that little sapling. The poor thing looks rather thirsty to me. I pair with a strong gust. I could splash some water onto it. And sure enough, basically. Splash some water, and we can basically water that sprout up nice and well. Let's bring ourselves up here. Anyways, with enemies, just swipe them down or just swipe them against any surface and you'll be fine. You will be all good. Now, let's over into the next room. Now, anyways, welcome to the overworld of the game. Basically, this game will have it where this is a relatively small area, though you can get some nice stuff out of it. Let's head down. I believe the totem is somewhere nearby. I know we can get the totem for this area. I could have sworn it was somewhere. Okay, let's search around. Oh, yeah, let's talk to this guy first. Let's not be rude. Such a fine day this is. Perfect for a spot gardening. Okay, we can't do anything with that or with that just yet. But we can't move around. We can't explore. Yeah, just this game is very peaceful, just very soothing, and not to mention because it's short, it makes it where this game is a nice relaxing little jaunt. If you're just in the mood for some light puzzling and just as well as basically just you want to just have a restful time, you know? It has very it has a it kind of to me, it feels like a blend of hurdy gurdy meets scalar, basically. Yeah, I know that may sound like some weird combination, but it just has that feeling to me. Anyways, here we have the totem. Grab our third one. Yeah, we're already three. To we're already one eighth of the way done the game. Can you believe it? Toku cannot take fall damage before you ask, which is the, which is a very good thing considering that going in the air is your main thing. Hello there, young Toku. What a beautiful day this is. Get off my lawn, Toku. I think Dio has been looking for you. I hear he's rather worried. Well, let's go off to Dio's house then. To Dio's house we go. To Dio's house we go, to Dio's house we go. Hi, oh, the Mario, to Dio's house we go. Now, anyways, get used to Dio's house. Because you're going to be coming here a lot. I think I found something. Melodious statues will record your progress as you pass by. If Toku dies, he'll return to the last Melodious statue he visited. Or if you quit out the game, which is the more likely scenario. I have never died in this game, and I don't think I'll ever die in this game. Why should I die in this playthrough? Anyways, here we have Dio. Ah, uh -huh, Toku, there you are! Get over here, you little sprout of all the... I've been worried rotten about you! Were you sleeping under the tree again in a cinematic fashion? Because if you have been, oh boy, God help your soul. Where have you been this time? Honestly, when I promised your mother I'd look after you, I didn't think it'd be so hard. Now I know why she hasn't come back, Toku. She's been she's been getting away from you. Never mind about all that. You are just in time for your first show of the day. Rub my bunions. Oh no no no! Better yet, fix the DVR. I want to watch my CSI Miami. What? Don't give me that look, Toku. Jaws are very important. They teach us order and responsibility, and they allow me to t to give tasks that I don't want to do to you. Dio, it's you. My goodness, I never thought I'd see you again. I need your help, Dio. We must talk to the other spirits. I fear Balazar's power is forming once more. Dio, do you not hear me? Now, Toku, can I trust you to travel into town and collect some herbs I require for the garden? Make sure to be careful whilst you are gone. There have been many dead disturbances of late. Something is very wrong, Toku. Why can Dio not hear me? Maybe we should go to the village and see if anyone out there can help. Okay, let's head off to the village then. Unfortunately enough, Dio can't cannot get his herbs because the herb shop has been destroyed by that earthquake just now. Whoa, what was that? That was an earthquake that destroyed the herb shop. But anyways, we got to get moving because the world is in danger. Just 
look at this mess. If the rubble keeps on the village will be ruined. My property values will go down the toilet. Okay, let's head over here. Let me up, let me up pretty please with sugar on top. Okay, let's head up here. Because we're gonna want to this house, I believe. No, it's not this house, it's either that house or the next house over. Okay, let's talk to you. Let me talk to you, come on. However, did, however did you get up here? Can you fly or something? Yes, we can fly. I believe I can fly. Ruined, my beautiful home shop is ruined. Those rumblings have been getting worse ever since those strange creatures started appearing around the village. It wouldn't surprise me if Notia wakened something when he was uh, uh, when he was on one of his expeditions. Anyways, this tells us who we need to talk to. We need to talk to Notia, who will basically give us the, no, 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 no. I'm not taking damage after I promised to try and not take damage. I was like, oh, it's, it's easy not to take damage in this game. And then all of a sudden I'm taking your hands up and taking damage. Yeah, anyways, we can't do anything with that over there because in order to destroy vines, you need fire and we do not have any ready source of fire at the moment. So let's head over here. Jump up there. Jump, jump, jump. Okay, yeah, anyways, in regards to this game, I am gonna try to get 100% for this because basically each, like I said, each room has its own totem and the totems are very easy to keep track of. Anyways, over here we have a torch. Below the torch, with your fire, and then from there, boom, you can singe the fire. The fire is gone now. This boulder, I believe this boulder will come in very handy later on. This is the abandoned village. This looks, this looks like the entrance of the old village. I don't think anyone's been down there in years. I think I lost my adult themed magazine down there. Quickly, Toku, get it out, I'm lonely. I'm lonely and I have needs, Toku. Okay. Let's go around. They're building bridges. They're repairing the bridges. Let's search around. Yeah, this area just always throws me off a little just because it's kind of labyrinthian. A lot of the areas in this game can feel labyrinthian. Heck, one of the things with this game is that it always feels like there's more than 24 rooms because basically what ends up happening is you have it where just... So many of the rooms feel like they blunt, where basically, eat. a lot of the rooms have different sections to them. So basically you go into one room, you're in basically another section of another room, basically. It's not a new room, which can kind of throw you off a little. Okay. Anyways, here's the here's our guy, here's the man of the hour, Notia. Why, a good day to you, young adventurer. What brings, what whim brings you up the, all the way here? No wait, where are my manners? You must think me quite rude. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Notia. Mistrals is explorer extraordinaire. I have traveled the very length and birth of this island. From whispering sands of the forgotten jungles. No cavern too cavernous. No river too ravenous. No mountain too... Wow, Toku, he really does go on, doesn't he? Monster too monstrous. Excuse me, did you say something? You can hear me? Of course I can hear you. Wait a moment. You're a... A spirit! My goodness, this is quite remarkable. A real life spirit. I am truly honored by your presence. My name is Enriel, the Windsor, and this is Toku. He is my he is my boy servant. Enriel, you say? How interesting. This region is covered with inscriptions about a lost spirit named Enriel. Really? What do they say? They say how Enriel had to be abandoned. Enriel was a loser, so we had to basically just... The spirits just left the island. They were like, oh god, we don't want to be near her anymore. Just throw... If you see her, throw a rock at her. From what, I've, from what I've been able to translate, it seems that after the Wind Spirit went missing, a race called the Melodias began constructing wondrous things to beckon the Wind Spirit's return. They believed these artifacts would aid restoring her power in a time when she would need it most. The Melodias themselves have since vanished, so nobody knows for sure how these artifacts work. Token and I blustered across some kind of shrine. Do any of the inscriptions refer to others like it? Why, yes, I know at least one other shrine in this area. I've read a second, but never found it myself. So you've been to the other shrine? Of course, I wouldn't be an explorer extraordinaire if I, no, if I didn't, would I? No tale too arduous, no cage too odi odorous. Uh, sorry, it is rather easy to get carried away. What was I saying? Oh yes, I believe the shrine dedicated to the me meandering wind would be to the west of Wither Falls. Here, take this map to help you on your travels. It's always served me well in, my path, in, her, in the past. Eh? Sarth Swamp, I am not Samugi. To the west, you say? That must be close to where I found you sleeping, Toku, like the lazy little bee you are. Well, Toku I, Toku, I suppose we should bluster along now. 
No, T.I., thank you. You've been a great help. My pleasure. If there's any way that I can assist you further, do come find me again. Check the, check the stop symbol or press the escape button to open the map. Which we shall. Basically, as you can see from this, we can see what items we have. The map shows the areas of the world that you've explored. Areas marked with a question mark symbol or destinations you should try to visit. Highlighting a location on the map will show you its name in the bottom corner. Collect the play symbol or the escape menu to close the map. Basically, we can see wh what items we've got and when. We can't get the totem near Dio's home because we need an upgrade to get it. We already got the Lost Cavern and the Shrine of Gales item. Blossom Bass and Blossom Grove. I believe we're going to need to come back later, though. Let's just search around. I believe the totem for this area is close by. I believe it's just up here. You gotta go to the top. Ah, yes, right here. Anyways, this item right here, we cannot deal with it yet because basically it requires, well, it requires us to basically use a technique that we do not have. Okay, no. Okay, anyways, let's head over here. Yeah, we can't do anything there, so basically let's head over to the shrine, or we could do that in the next episode. I'm going to search around a little and see what, if we can actually get up there. Yeah, too bad they can't let us use the, use the power that we could get from that now. And yes, there it is right there. Basically, yeah, we cannot get that power right now. All we can do is try, is basically get another one, which is right over here. So let's go over here. And, yeah, as you can see, we have more children. We have children who are sad. Children who are not glad. Anyways, this is a save area. And this is an area where, basically, we will be doing things later. But, anyways, this area right here, believe it or not, this is actually the final boss area where we'll be fighting the final boss. But we're not fighting the final boss now, are we? No, no, no. We are not fighting the final boss because the final boss is going to come later. Blow you down. Blow you down a thousand times over. While people just stand off to the side, watching us menacingly. So anyways, let's go find the totem in this room, because I believe we can find, get our hands right now. Anyways, when you run to a mushroom, spring against the mushroom, and you can launch Toku, Toku right into the air. Let's send Toku up here. Send Toku up. One thing I've always noticed, is Toku's head is massive compared to his body. I mean... Toku's head is the same size as his torso. And not to mention his hands. They're so tiny. His arms are so tiny compared to his head. How does he scratch the top of his head? Does he have to do some weird bend over in order to touch his head? I it makes me wonder. Toku's anatomy mystifies me. Okay. Let's yes, there he is right over there. Yeah, let's destroy those guys. Grab the little pollen things. Yeah, the enemies here always remind me of basically some basic enemies you would see as Scaler. Basically, that obscure PS2 game slash GameCube game. Anyways, we got a fourth totem, which is very nice. So, let's head back over. Yeah, we already have a six of the totems in this game, which, if you can believe it or not, just... Like I said, just this game can move very fast. It can just... It can move... In, it's insane of how quickly you can just breathe right through this game. Pun entirely intended there. No, partially not at the same time. So anyways, let's head back to Dio's house, and then the next episode we can basically work our way to get what we need to get, do what we need to do. Yes, as you can see, just Toku, he, Toku, he can fly. He can just fly like the wind. It's majestic how you can fly with Toku once you get used to the controls in this game. Anyways, let's go over here. Still working on the bridge. Okay. Yes, the herb shop has been destroyed. Funnily enough, when I first did this game, I did not know about the herb shop. I was just exploring around, and then I just ran to Notia. You don't even have to talk to the herb shop guy. So basically, when I for the longest of times, I was like, "Oh, hey, why is it that why is it that basically Dio is just so quick to let just abandon our herb shop thing? How does he know the herb shop was destroyed? Does he have some sixth sense?" Okay. Whom? I've heard the sh herb shop was destroyed. Well, I have no other choice for you, so I suppose that means you are free to go play. Just be careful and don't get yourself into any trouble. Though, we won't, though, basically, we'll be doing that in the next episode, because I think now would be a good time to end things off. 
Anyways, I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like the video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. With that, I'll see you next time. Bye.